How's it going everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade and this is my history teacher vlog. This is episode two. I am filming this on Monday, August the 10th. It is now 4.30. My first day of pre-planning is done. And boy, we have a lot to unpack from today. So, what do you say we get started? All right, so for starters, if you look behind me, you can see that my room is a mess. I mean, honestly, this is not looking good. It's been tore up. Remember the last video, I tried to clean it up, made it look a little better. That didn't happen, that didn't last, but it's okay. It's not too bad, I can put it back together. Now, what I want to talk about today, there are three things that we did today. One, just to clear, it was all meetings. I didn't have any time to work in the room today. Today was all meetings, but there were three trainings that we had, and I think they were very important. They covered a lot of information. A couple of the things that I want to take away and what could affect you and just what we're going through is between my live face-to-face -face classes and my digital online classes, the assignments have to be the same. We're going to run the online classes as if they are in my classroom, and I'm happy about that. I think that's a great idea. I think that that's going to allow our kids to be super successful, whether they're face-to-face -face or not. I can run my class, and I can make sure that my kids are getting what they need. I feel very respected for that. That's a good thing. Thumbs up on that, okay? Um, I don't know if you saw my other video about uh, Welcome to World History, but you can see, as I'm just noticing the background here, you can see I have my studio set up kind of here. I got my lights there. I got my camera. I'm pointing there right here. This actually, believe it or not, is a teleprompter. Wait right there. This is pretty cool. I figure I'll show it to you. This is no ordinary shoebox, but rather, if I open it up, if I angle it, there's a piece of glass in there. And the whole one's blacked out. You can see, I have my own teleprompter. I put a tablet here, it reflects up there. So if you're wondering what that was, all right, hang on. Now, another thing that we were talking about today in one of my trainings was the fact that our goal is a year and a half growth. Now, if I can speak to that, I don't understand how that works in me. I'm a history teacher, okay? I'm going to get my kids to grow through history. Now, what they're talking about are their skills, the reading and math skills. Okay, kids need to catch up because the COVID slide. The kids are going to be fine. We're going to work for it. Personally, as an educator, I'm not a fan of that because what do I normally do? Oh, I'm only going to give them a half year growth. No, I'm going to get them to grow as much as possible. I don't set a limit. I want them to grow one year. I don't want them to grow a half year. So saying I want them to grow a year and a half, that doesn't really mean much to me personally because I don't subscribe to that. I'm going to get you to grow. Now, does that mean you? I need to push a little harder this year? Probably, but then again, I fall back on being a history teacher and it's content-based. So, take that for what it is. Now, we talked about how digital is going to look like the classroom itself. So I think that in itself is going to keep the kids from sliding any further. I think that's great. I think we're going to push our kids. And I think the kids that know this, they're expecting this. You know, they're ready to get going just like we are and we're going to push them a little harder but we're gonna work better this year. So what does that mean for me and my experience? Um, unfortunately, we still don't know in, in future updates. Hopefully I have them for you, but we're gonna to have to work through this. I don't think I have a better way of saying that other than we have to figure this out as we go. I mean, there's mandates put in place, you know, the mask, you can see I have my virtual history 360 mask right here, you know, there are certain rules put in place. The desk, as you saw before, are spaced out. But other than that, we're gonna to have to figure it out. And that's the journey that we're on. Um, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but drop comments below. Tell me what you guys are going through. Um, maybe your district is handling things differently. Let me know what you got going on. I'm interested. So let me know, hit that like button, leave a comment. But that's been my day. We, like I said, we had three different trainings dealing with planning, dealing with digital, and now dealing with the school procedures. I'll tell you, the school procedures are going to be the same basic as always. If you are used to being in a school, it's going to be run just like that, obviously, with certain changes that we're going to figure out as we go. But I think you can come into a school with a sense of normalcy in mind. So I'm going to leave you with that. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm Mr. Wade. This is August 10th for Virtual History 360. I'll see you next time. Thank you.